Nine Ways to Appreciate Depreciation. This presentation revolved around an article that I wrote in your investment property magazine called Nine Ways to Cut Tax Bills Through Depreciation. But firstly, my name's Tyrone Hyde. I'm a director of a company called Washington Brown, Quanti Surveyors. We work out, basically we work out what things cost to build. And we've been around for about 30 odd years now. And as I said, we're Quanti Surveyors. I started the property depreciation division approximately 18 years ago. When I was at university, I wrote my thesis on property depreciation. Not the sexiest topic, I've got to tell you. But, you know, it's kept me going okay. We have offices nationwide and we do other things such as cost planning, sinking fund analysis, building insurance valuations, due diligence reports on big buildings. And, but today we're all going to talk about tax depreciation. And basically, quantity surveyors, we work out what things cost to build, or we try at least. Now, what is property depreciation? Well, just like you can claim the wear and tear of your car against your taxable income or the wear and tear of your desk in your office, you can claim the wear and tear of the property against your taxable income, but the property must be income producing. You can't do this on your residential house. Now, property depreciation varies from country to country. Um, we've got pretty good depreciation laws in this country, I feel, but in a lot of countries, you can't claim depreciation. So we're quite lucky. Now, many property investors still don't claim depreciation. Do you? If not, why not? In summary, any property depreciation you claim will reduce the taxable income by the amount of the depreciation you can claim. There are two parts of a depreciation claim. The first part is what's called the capital works allowance. That relates to the building, the structure of the building. It lasts for 40 years. This is commonly referred to as the building allowance. Now, the amount of the deduction is determined by the actual construction cost. Not what it costs you to buy the property, but what the actual cost of construction is. And in order for you to claim this building allowance, the property must have been bought after 1985 for residential properties. The second part that we're going to talk about is what's called the plants and equipment, Division 40. That refers to things like ovens, dishwashers, carpets, blinds, and also the common property items, such as the lift, the fire services, ventilation. Now, the more of this stuff, the greater the tax saving. Why? Because this stuff wears out quicker. Now, let's get into some tips. The first tip is the higher the building, the higher the depreciation. Why? Because it has more of that plant and equipment stuff that I'm talking about. And that stuff depreciates faster. It also has things like gyms and pools, etc. Let's have a look at the numbers. Now, as you can see here, the higher the building for units greater than eight floors, the higher the depreciation in comparison to a house where the first year claim may only be $7,000. Second tip, old properties depreciate too. You've already paid something for it. So whilst you can't claim the structure of the, you may be able to claim the ovens and the dishwashers, the blinds, etc. because the plant equipment is based upon what you pay for it and the effective life of each item can be of benefit. That means that if the carpet's only going to last two years, you may be able to claim it over 50% each year. And we're so confident, we actually guarantee our results. So if we can't get you at least twice our fee in the first year, we won't charge you. Third way to appreciate depreciation or tip is to buy items that actually cost you under $300. For instance, if I was going to buy a microwave, I wouldn't buy one that costs $330 because I'd have to claim it at 20% per annum. But I'd buy one at $295 because I'd be able to claim it immediately. Another good tip is sometimes furnishing your property can actually result in a greater depreciation deduction. Why? Because the furniture depreciates rather quickly compared to some concrete. So putting things like dining tables and bedding and all that stuff into a property can actually accelerate your claim to the point that if you were to buy $20,000 worth of furniture, you could possibly get a $10,000 deduction in year one alone. But you've got to be smart about this. You can't furnish all properties. It really depends on the location. And it's, as I said, it's not for all properties. Another tip is the actual construction cost must be used. Now, that's not a tip as in the law, but what we've found lately is there are a lot of properties out there that are actually being sold close to the construction cost, certainly in areas where they boom and bust areas such as Noosa, I would say, or the Gold Coast. Um, some of those properties now, they've come back to a point where you actually want to have a look at them. Um, we're seeing that more often, and it all, we're seeing that in commercial industrial as well. For instance, this property here, as you can see if we zoom in, it sold in orange for the original sale price was $95,000 in 2004. Our client 
just paid $45,000 for it. We said the original construction was $52,000. Now, I don't know any other way you can get a deduction greater than what you pay for something. The residual value write-off. If you were to renovate a property that was built after 1985, you should get a quantity surveyor out before you do the renovation in order that we can put some values onto items that you're about to remove. And you can get a written down value of those items and claim it immediately as a tax deduction. Things like kitchens, so if you're removing the kitchens, the light fittings, the shower screens, etc., all that stuff can be written off if your property was built after 1985. For instance, if in 1989, so say you bought a property that was built in 1989, and within that property there was a kitchen that was originally installed. For if you to demolish it now, halfway through its effective life, you could get a $10,000 immediate tax deduction for it. However, just remember that the property needed to be income producing before you ripped it out. So the tip here is to get a quantity slayer out before you renovate a post-1985 property. Another tip, always use an expert. Quantity surveyors have been recognised by the Australian Taxation Office to estimate construction costs where the costs are not known. Accountants, real estates, even valuers aren't allowed to estimate the costs. Only quantity surveyors. And not all quantity surveyors specialise in this service. Washington Brown certainly do. And as far as I know, a depreciation report is the only tax deduction as a property investor that can be subjective open to interpretation skill. Every other tax deduction is based upon what you pay for it. Now, let's have a look at the difference between depreciation of a new versus a four-year-old property. It's very similar. You'll be surprised. Very similar due to the effective lives of the property. Now, most of the deduction within a property is actually related to the building allowance. However, you'll definitely get more depreciation on a new property compared to a pre 90 property. Let's have a look. Now, this is a new property with a purchase price of $500,000 built in 2009. As you can see, the depreciation deduction is $13,000 in year one, $10,000, $9,000 using diminution value method. Now, look at the prime cost method, $13,000. This is built in 2005, so not that different. The Washington Brown depreciation calculator. Now, this is a good tip. You can go online and check depreciation available using our calculator. It's the first calculator that uses live data. You can check new versus old, accurate, get an accurate depreciation estimate. And the great news is it's free. Now, I haven't got any bonus books, no bonus CDs. All I can give you is some bonus tips. So bonus tip number one, don't use a builder's depreciation schedule. Builders are good at building. Let quantity surveyors do the depreciation schedule for you. They miss out items. They don't understand sometimes the design and the council contributions are not allowed. Use an expert, as I said before. Types of materials used can change the amount of depreciation you can claim. So if you're renovating, you might want to consider what items you renovate with. For instance, carpet has a very different depreciation rate to tiling. Aircon has a different rate to fans. Just consider the item that you're about to install. You can claim renovation even if you haven't done the work. So if you buy a property that was built in 1900, for instance, but it was renovated in 1990, not even by you, you can claim the renovation costs, even if you didn't do the renovation. Now, the final thing I want to talk about, we have an iPhone app. You can download it free from the iTunes store. There are two, two options. You can either crunch the numbers yourself or for you. If you want to do it yourself, you just answer five quick questions about the property, the purchase price, the nearest city, the year it was built, property type, and the standard of finish within the property. And then you press calculate, and hey, bingo, you can compare depreciation deductions between the diminishing, and if you're happy with the result, simply get a quote from us, or give us a call and we can discuss the property over the phone. It's all in the palm of your hand. Now, I want to show you this photo because for two reasons. First reason is that the calculator also works on an iPad, so you can do that. The other reason is I just want to show you that my mother knitted me an iPad very sweet of her, in blue and white, because I go for the Canary Banks down Bulldogs. Don't hold that against me. And she obviously went to knit Tyron, T-Y-R-O-N, 
Got about halfway, realised it wasn't going to fit, and so just left it tie, centred left. God bless you, Mum. So five things to take away from today. Old property to depreciate too. Don't have to buy new to claim depreciation. Depreciation helps your cash flow. If you're about to renovate a property that was built after 1985, get us out before you do so. And remember, always use an expert. Thank you. And if you have any questions, just contact us on 1300 or send an email to info at washingtonbrown.com.au. Have a great day.